Greetings everyone, I'm Sahil Anand right here from my channel Curiosity AIO and uh, so guys, uh, have you ever wanted to run a Mac operating system on your Windows PC without spending much on the real Mac hardware or we can say um, Mac products such as MacBook? Then you are at the right place because today I'm going to teach you how you can run Mac operating system or clearly Mac OS L Capitan on your Windows machine. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So guys, here I am. Uh, so first thing uh, I'd like to tell you that you want to first of all download two files. The first of the two files is the Mac OS El Capitan image. You want to download it. It is approximately 5 gigs. So you want to download it. And the second file you need to download is the setup for VMware Workstation. So uh, you want to download these two files. Uh, and guys, I'll be back in the video when I finish the download process. Welcome back guys, I've just completed the download for these two files. So what we're gonna do now is that uh, we're gonna open up this Mac OS El Capitan WinRAR image. Then what you wanna do is that you wanna extract it to a location which is easily accessible by you. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go to C disk, create a new folder called, uh, I'll call it Mac OS then um, you want to keep it like that and extract all these files to that folder here uh, it is so guys I'll be back in the video um, when two processes are completed first the installation it is very simple you can easily do that on your own and the extraction process so goodbye for now so guys I've just completed the extraction process now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to the place where we extracted the file um, here it is now what you wanna do is that oh, I'm sorry what you wanna do is that you wanna open this um, locker folder and you wanna go to uh, this icon, tiny icon called win-install now what you are going to do is that you need to right click over here and click run as administrator what this pros, this um, application does is that it unlocks some sort of permissions from VMware so that we can run Mac OS on it so um, it will close automatically that's good now everything's done then now it's pretty straightforward now what you're gonna do is that you want to open up your VMware tools oh I'm sorry VMware player and the moment it opens up you wanna go over here click the option which says open a virtual machine and you want to go to the location where you've extracted all the files here it is and you want to click this OSX 10.11 L Capitan and open this virtual machine this will automatically um, retrieve all the needed information now depending upon what sort of Windows system you have you want to click here and edit the settings for example I don't have 8 gigs of memory I only have 4 so uh, for Mac OS I will dedicate about 2 gigs of memory and when it comes to processor number of processor cores which is 4 seems good now uh, when everything's good you wanna click the OK button now what you wanna do is that simply click this option that says play virtual machine and in no time you'll see an Apple logo here it is we are there um, whatever it is here it is
So, uh, welcome back guys, I've gone through the boot up process, now the system has booted up and uh, so what you want to do is that you want to click on whatever region you're living in and yeah, click continue, select your keyboard and um, do settings according to you and uh, if you want to sign in with your Apple ID do sign in right now otherwise the Mac will encounter some sort of problem if you try to sign in later on so I don't want to sign in right now then you want to click continue um, skip and here are some sort of terms and conditions agree agree now you want to create a computer account so Set up a password, but if uh, you don't want to create a password, now you want to click continue. Now, in some time, you need to wait. To have patience, your account has been created. And so uh, now here you want to select your time zone. Nope, I don't want to send anything to Apple. So guys, here we are in our Mac OS X El Capitan. It feels a bit slow right now, so um, what we want to do is that we want to install VMware Tools, a software which is uh, which comes for Mac. I mean, only for the for those which are running on VMware. So you want to uh, install that tool. What this tool will do is that it will reduce the latency between your hardware and uh, your uh, operating system current operating system which is our windows 10 so that performance is improved so here you can see os x l capitan is the operating system we've just installed so um, for installing vmware well, i'm sorry vmware tools you need to have this package called darwin i'll put the link for this in the description box below so what you want to do is that also, if you install this tool, this will allow you to run this Mac in full screen. So, what you want to do is that you want to go to Player, go to Removable Devices, go to CD DVD SATA, then go to Settings, and uh, then you want to go to use an I um, CD DVD, then use an ISO image file, go to Browse. Here it is, then you want to select wherever your Darwin file is saved, then you want to click open, then click OK. And uh, it will take some time and here we have the VMware Tools option. Now you want to click over here, install VMware Tools and wait, wait and wait until this stuff opens up. So uh, here we have the installation page. What you want to do is that click continue, continue, install. If you have any password, then you want to enter it and install the software. Continue the installation. And this will take some time, so you need to wait again. But once you install this, you will enjoy a very smooth Mac experience. I can assure this thing to you. So,
So here we are guys, we've just installed, installed VMware tools and you want to restart this virtual machine. Uh, so just click this button over here and your machine will automatically restart. Now, well, once your PC has booted up, you will observe that your mouse, or uh, what we say that your cursor is damp, has become damp smooth now. So, just want to enter your password to log in. And also, you are now able to run Mac in full screen. So, here it is, we have logged in. To the Mac and also we are able to run Mac in full screen so guys that's all and uh, I think that you have learned to install Mac on a Windows PC so guys that's all for the video if you like the video then please hit the like and subscribe button down below because it really motivates me to make awesome stuff like this for you guys so thanks guys and goodbye